Hey everybody, it's uh, Magnetic Leadership Mentor Jeeva Sam coming to you uh, tonight from a slightly different venue than you normally see me. I'm coming to you from a hotel room here in uh, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, uh, where uh, my wife Lojana and I uh, have come for a few days uh, to celebrate our nephew's wedding and spend some time with family and see some sights and so on. Uh, well, you know, uh, this evening, as Lloyd and I were actually having a chat about uh, uh, what the Magnetic Leadership Mentorship talk should be on this evening. And uh, she mentioned something very, very significant. Uh, you may have heard me saying recently, if you're part of our uh, uh, weekly mentorship, uh, that the Lord told us that we need to go on an aggressive giving spree. <laughs> And we've been obeying uh, him on that word very faithfully for quite a few weeks now. And uh, some good things are happening. I'll share them another time. Um, but one of the things that uh, Slogan and I really uh, felt impressed upon our spirits to share with you this evening is that uh, uh, magnetic leaders never, ever worry about receiving what they need and even what they want because they never ever slack off on giving what they need to give. <laughs> Did you get that? Magnetic leaders never worry about receiving uh, what they need and even what they want because they never slack off on giving what they need to give. Well, um, you know, in, the, in the Christian faith, in the Judeo-Christian tradition, you know, with our ancient uh, Jewish roots, Hebrew roots. Uh, one of the things that uh, you know we teach in our uh, Magnetic Leadership uh, Mentorship Academy, and uh, you know the, the counsel in counseling the clients uh, that come to us. One of the things we always teach is that you need to give God His share before you do anything else with your money. Uh, we have been doing that. Pretty well since the beginning of our marriage I would not say that we were consistently doing it on a regular basis uh, you know from month to month uh, until a certain point when we did make that decision that we were going to be totally consistent with it and I want to tell you that we've been consistent with it for a good 25 to 30 years uh, somewhere in that range <laughs> Okay, and so I'm not teaching theory, I'm talking personal experience, all right? Uh, as a matter of fact, let me say something first uh, about the very first time that we decided we we're going to be intentional about it, and so we got the, you know, the paychecks and uh, looked at, you know, the, the, the gross income, uh, it kind of looked gross, <laughs> but that's okay, we just divided by 10, and I wrote the check, you know, the church that I was pastoring at the time. Uh, in another city, and uh, uh, just a couple of days later, uh, you know, I went to visit, uh, you know, one of our uh, members, and because uh, she'd moved to a different apartment uh, from her house, and so, uh, you know, had a good visit, ate her coffee and cookies, uh, prayed with her, and on the way out, she said, uh, oh, uh, uh, Reverend Sam, uh, I have this envelope for you, uh, and that I'll be meaning to give. Uh, so here it is, and I hope that you know, uh, you know you'll know you enjoy it or something like that, very, very simple, and I have no idea what it was, uh, because I'll be very honest with you. At that point in my ministry, I was not used to receiving uh, you know, any kind of you know, gifts um, out of the blue. Uh, you know, Christmas, yeah, some people you know, would give uh, some additional gifts and so on, uh, but this was just like a, a mundane home visit, really. And, uh, and when I, you know, opened up that uh, envelope, uh, there was a check in there. And I believe the amount was $1,500. It's been quite a while, so I don't remember the exact amount. Uh, but here's the thing. Right the week before, uh, Sloan and I had talked about uh, visiting my parents, taking our kids, you know, we had two at the time, and uh, coming down and uh, spending a few days with them. Uh, in connection with another, you know, business kind of a trip that I had to make. And um, we didn't have the money, you know, to, to book the tickets for the rest of them. And, 
it just worked out that with the airfares that time and uh, seat sales or whatever it was, uh, that that check basically took care of every last penny that we needed for that trip. Now, why do I give you that example? Because you see, friends, God promises that when you give him his share, you know, the, the tithe, the one-tenth of your income uh, that comes to you, uh, you know, on uh, your paycheck, your business, your commissions, you know, whatever the case may be, then he made a promise, Malachi 3.10 and on, that he would open the windows of heaven, pour out such a blessing that there would not be room enough to hold it. See, in other words, uh, you know, you'll get way more than what you give. And uh, let's say that my tithe that month was maybe $300, somewhere in that range. Uh, well, I got back a five-fold return, you know, on that 500%, I think is, is the right uh, mathematical percentage <laughs> of what I gave. Uh, and then, you know, simply out of the blue, it was totally, totally unexpected. Uh, see, God orchestrated it. God keeps his promises. Now, um, whether, you know, you get that kind of return every time or not, and I have to admit to you that we haven't always got that kind of return, uh, you know, from month to month. <laughs> But when I know that I've given God what I need to give, then I never, ever worry about whether God will give me enough to meet my needs and then some. And that has been our experience, friends, you know, all through these years. Uh, no matter how tight, you know, the, the money was in a particular month, uh, no matter, you know, the bills there, the debts there, whatever, uh, we have never, ever shied away from tithing faithfully. And and friends, uh, you know, if you're not uh, doing it or if you haven't done it or if you did it for a while and slacked off like I did um, for, for a season, uh, you get, get back on track with it, okay? Uh, and again, you know, uh, nobody's forced to do it, by the way. Uh, you know, we don't force anybody in our church, uh, you know, to tithe. Uh, but we do teach, you know, the tithe with force, <laughs> if you will. Uh, because, you know, it is one of the most powerful things, it's the most basic form of giving uh, that all of us, you know, should practice. It's very interesting, you know, uh, when I used to attend business seminars outside of the church, uh, the leaders, who, by the way, were very magnetic, always taught that you should give away a tenth of your income, your profits in the business, you know, to charity. You know, a lot of them were Christians, so they said they gave their churches and ministries and so on uh, and it's it's, it's it's really amazing how you know they were being blessed God was honoring their commitment uh, with more and more uh, you know uh, blessings that they really could not contain okay so uh, so keep that in mind and uh, you know I, I sense that we need to talk a little bit more about uh, uh, giving because uh, that really really uh, makes you magnetic because when you give you have a generous spirit, a generous spirit always attracts, always draws people to you, and they have no idea why it is. Because <laughs> they don't know how much you give. They don't know that you're a tither, but that's the way God works. <laughs> God brings people into your life. God gives you what you need. You're looking for people in your life. You know, are you looking for something that needs to be done, that uh, you know you need the resources for? Uh, you know, it may not always be money, by the way, but when you give away, and by the way, the tithing is not giving aggressively. That's not part of our giving aggressively. Tithing is the basic, foundational principle, the first step that you take, you know, in giving. And you watch, one of your rewards will be that you will be highlighted. God will make you magnetic to others all right so uh we we'll look forward to hearing your feedback on this okay if you're blessed by this teaching you know uh, click the like at the bottom and uh, share it with other people all right until next time it's magnetic leadership mentor jiva sam